Hello everyone. Uh, this tutorial is to show new drivers how to uh, complete the Utah Highway Safety and Trend exam. If you do not know the website, this is how to find it on the internet. You go to Google search and say Utah Highway Safety and trend exam you hit enter and this is the link to the website and this is the website you scroll down and click on this little icon on this page it will ask you to create your account you click on this link and here you used to choose, uh, choose a username and password and I have a username ever. gmail uh, actually yeah so you type your username and password but I already have username password so I'll go straight to login and just type in my login information and type in the password and click login okay this is the exam home page you can see they have four modules speeding impaired unrestrained and motorcycle and pedestrian and they are also pending uh, so what you do I want to do speeding so I click on speeding okay bring me to this page you need to check I acknowledge that I have read this and then click continue to exam on this page you have to click this again and click continue and this bring you to the exam this is question number one and this is on speeding so you have to read it and watch the video and answer the question so at 41 percent speeding is one of the five leading contributing factor in traffic death on utah highway it is true so you click true and then continue next inclement weather attributed to how many deaths in 2017 if you do not know the answer you as you are watching the video you need to write down um, uh, the answers so this may take a few minutes and you look to find the correct answer okay I found the answer and the answer for this is 38 and you say continue next true or false you must slow down and make a lane change if possible when approaching a stop emergency vehicle it is true most actions connected with aggressive driving are illegal just as it is all of this apply in 2017 how many deaths were attributed to speed crisis in Utah is 111 and say next true or false you tend to drive towards what you are looking at focus on the road ahead to avoid target fixation true true or false you need to slow down and move over for emergency vehicle 
only at night or during inclement weather. This is false. You have to do it at all times. True or false, in a minor collision, if both cars are drivable and there are no serious injury, call 911 and move to the next exit. True. If the posted speed limit is 65 miles per hour, in what driving condition may the posted speed limit not be the safest speed at which to travel? In this case, in icy weather, in fog, in snow-packed or wet road. So all these apply. What was the leading contributing factor in death? Speeding is the leading contributing factor. You say next. So if all the answers are correct, it will say congratulations. You passed the exam with a score of 100%. All right, then you click return home to go to the next exam. And the next one is impaired one. So you click on it. And so if you want to watch the video, you click the video. The video is about the five minutes long. information in this video will prepare you to pass the Utah Traffic Safety and Trends exam. Zero fatalities on our roadways is an attainable goal. What county do you live, work, or play in? The largest increases in death occurred in Cache, Grand, and Iron counties. Together, we can improve traffic safety in our communities. Okay. Uh, you finish the video. You click this uh, checkbox here and say continue. And here you click. I acknowledge and continue. Okay. In Utah, how many fatalities in 2017 were from an alcohol impaired driver? So the alcohol impaired drivers, the number was 31. You click 31 and say next. What is the average time a driver's eye is away from the road when sending or receiving a text message? 4.6 is the correct answer. You click 4.6 seconds and next. How many Utah deaths were caused by drowsy driving in 2017? There were seven of them, so you click on seven and say continue. Uh, true or false, a person's ability to drive is not affected when they are tired. It's false because it's affected. And number five, true or false, one of the most dangerous things about alcohol is that your judgment is the first thing to be impaired. It is true. Uh, true or false, prescription and over-the-counter medicine does not impair your ability to drive safely. It is false because it does impair your ability to drive safely. Okay, true or false, Cass, Grand, and Ion County had the largest increase in death. It is true. Studies show that people who use marijuana are arrested for more traffic violations, are more likely to be bothered by headlight glare, make more driving mistakes. All of these apply. Okay, the driver license division may suspend your driving privileges for all of this. Okay. And drowsy driving in Utah accounted for what percentage of a fatal crisis in 2017? Um, and the correct answer is 2.6.
this one here and next. Congratulations, you passed the exam with 100%. And then you click return home. And you notice that it's still showing pending. By the time I finish all of them, it will say taken. Go to the unrestrained. So you go through the whole process again. You click acknowledge. And continue. You watch the video. Acknowledge and continue to exam. And here is the beginning. The estimated number of deaths that could have been prevented by wearing a seatbelt is. It's 41. Uh, true or false, seat belts are not an effective traffic safety device for preventing death and injury. That is false. Okay, true or false, the two, 20 to 24 age group had 21 deaths in 2017. That is true. How many deaths to unrestrained occupant in 2017? And there are 83. And how many people killed in 2017 were between the ages of 25 and 29? There are four, three of them. Next, unrestrained occupant in Utah accounted for what percentage of deaths? 30.4. Next, <laughs> under what age should infants and children ride in the rear facing car seat? Two. True or false, anything that takes the driver's attention of the road is a distraction. That is true. True or false, in 2017, there were 23 deaths in the 15 to 19 age group. True. True or false, speeding and not wearing a seat belt are the top two most deadly driving behavior. It's true. There you go. Congratulations. You pass the exam with a score of 100%. Okay, and then you click Return Home and Motorcycle and Pedestrians. Okay, go through the whole process again. I acknowledge, watch the video, continue. I acknowledge, watch the video, and continue. We are now at the uh, beginning of the section. A motorist might yield the right of way to pedestrian at intersection, sidewalk, mark crosswalk. All these apply. Okay. What percentage of persons killed in 2017 were aged 15 to 29? 
31%. Which county had the highest number of debt in 2017? In a Solic County. How many pedestrian debt were in 2017? Uh, there were 43 of them. Let's go. 43. And based on the 2017 Utah Fatal Crash Summary, how many deaths were in the month of June? 25. Which road user are most at risk? Pedestrian. True or false, Utah law requires motorists must yield to pedestrian on a sidewalk. True. Based on the 2017 Utah fatal crash summary, which month had the highest increase in death? November. Motorcycle debt decreased from 2016 to 2017 by what percentage? Minus 7.1 And in 2017, how many motorcyclists were involved in fatal crash? Thirty-nine. Okay, congratulations. All the exam has been completed and here you see it taken. Okay, so it gives you option to download your certificate, which you can, and you can print it as well. Create print. But overall, once you complete this exam, it automatically transmits your score to their database. So when you go to get your license, they will see that you already completed it. Okay, that's all there is to the Utah Highway Safety and Trend exam. And you can log out of it and you are done. I hope this is helpful too all new drivers who may have difficulty uh, taking this exam. Thank you and bye-bye.